Hello guys, welcome back. Today we are going to start with basic hydraulic system. A basic hydraulic system just comprises of four main components, an hydraulic reservoir, pump, control rod, and the actuator. So let us start with the basic hydraulic system here. In a basic hydraulic system, the main component is the hydraulic reservoir. In the hydraulic reservoir, hydraulic fluid is stored. So the storage of a fluid is done by the hydraulic fluid. Here, after the storage, it has to supply the fluid to the various components. So here, the fluid is going into a hydraulic pump. Okay? So this is a pump. Here, the pump, it's the gear type pump, which is trying to show here. You can see that this one is trying to rotate in this direction. This one is trying to rotate in this direction. So the fluid which will come over here will get compressed and the pressure will increase. That is the function of the pump, to increase the pressure of the hydraulic fluid which is coming into the system. Again, I'm telling you, this is only the basic hydraulic system. We are not going to talk about the filters or any other components. Only what components are required for the system to operate. After the pump, there is a very important component called as a control valve. This control valve is the main valve which will decide the direction in which the control surface will go. For example, let us say that my wing has got an aerofoil that is aileron in the back. Whether this aileron will go up or down will be decided by this control valve. How it will do it? It will have four connections. So from here, the fluid is coming under the pressure. So here you can see that the fluid is going into a actuating cylinder. This component here is called as a actuating cylinder. When the fluid under the pressure comes on one side of the actuating cylinder, it pushes the piston into the opposite side like that. As the piston is moved from here, the fluid which is present from here returns to the control valve. So what is the function of actuator? It will operate the control circuit. This is connected to your aileron. So when this is being pulled inside or when it is being pushed outside, the control surface will either move up or down. It can also be connected to other uh, important components like landing gear, elevator. So everything can be controlled by hydraulic system. So here what is happening? The high pressure hydraulic fluid is coming into the right side of an actuating cylinder. High pressure is built up over here. It is causing the piston to move in this direction. As the piston is moving, this shaft which is connected over here is also moving. This shaft is connected to the control surface, so the control surface will also move. The fluid which is present over here will enter into the control valve again. And from here, it will enter into the written line and the written line will take it back to the reservoir. So it's a closed system. What do you mean by closed system? When the uh, cycle is completed. So hydraulic fluid, which starts from the reservoir, goes into the pump, it is pressurized, High pressure fluid goes into the control valve, which decides the direction in which the component has to move. Whether it can go in this side or this side will be decided by the control valve. And who, how is the control valve operated? By the pilot. Pilot will operate this control valve and he will decide in which direction the fluid has to move. So whenever it uh, moves, the fluid will go into one side of the actual cylinder. In this picture, the fluid is going into the pressure line in this side. So here the pressure is created and moves on. Return line is Oh, you have to remember that what is the pressure at the return line? Return line pressure is always zero pounds per square inch, that is zero psi. Whereas the pressure line pressure is actually 3000 or it can be any other value. But we are just going with 3000 because it's a standard value. In examination, you cannot mark 3000. It is just for understanding purpose. But you can mark this value because on the return line, there is no pressure. This is a return line. Return line has got no pressure, that is just zero psi. So again, just we'll quickly revise it. The first component of an hydraulic system is the hydraulic reservoir. This reservoir will store the fluid on a uh, fluid. Okay, then what it will do is it will pass the fluid into a pump. Pump which is rotating, it can be any type from the different types of the pump that we are going to study in the later on session. Here we have taken an example of a gear type pump. In a gear type pump, two gears are rotating in the anti uh, opposite direction. One is rotating in the anti-clockwise, another one is rotating in the clockwise direction. The fluid which is coming over here becomes trapped in that piece and from here it goes out. So this will give me a high pressure fluid at the outside. This high pressure fluid enters the control valve where it has been decided to see which side of the actuating cylinder this fluid will go. Who will decide this? The pilot will decide it. For example, if he wants to take the landing gear up, he may select this line. But if you want to take the landing gear down, he will select this line. Based on whatever selection the pilot does, the control valve, also known as a selector valve, allows the fluid to enter the actuating cylinder. This is your main muscle power. Okay, 
the fluid which is coming over here will cause the piston to move and as the piston is moving there is a rod connected to the piston this rod will operate the control surface which are optical lattice the pressure the fluid which is present over here it has to go somewhere otherwise this system will not operate since the hydraulic fluid is incompressible the return should be a return back to pass it to the control that's it beta this is a basic hydraulic system now i'm telling you this is not a safe system that is if any one of the component fails over here the system will stop work so to make it safe we have we insert some among, uh, some other component like we will insert filter actu accumulator okay then hand pump they put so many other components to make the system safe so we'll do that in the next class see you beta bye take care